Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to F1 24 and part two of our Lewis Hamilton career mode and the quest for our eighth world title continues today as we take on the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Thank you very much for the support on episode one. Keep the likes coming, comments, all of that good stuff. Let's give this series a big injection of life at the start of it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how we get on around Saudi Arabia. Um, we will have a look at some of the other uh, stuff in a little bit, but we have got 636 uh, resource points to spend. It looks like Russell is going to be uh, going to do some durability upgrades. Uh, so let's have a little gander. So we've got our minor front wing one in... Play. Let's go for a powertrain one this time. Um, and we can do some spark plugs, and they will be available for just after the Australian Grand Prix. That's good. And we can also do. We can actually do the other George Russell one. Um, but we'll maybe not up, up, upset him. Although surely he'll be able to. To do some other ones. Yeah, let's go for that. That's fine. And maybe he'll he'll do another one. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Anyway, hopefully we haven't just wasted a load of stuff there. But we can now do another goal for our manufacturing expert. Um, what do we want to do? We want to complete the weekend with no more than four collisions. I think round here that's going to be tough. Um, drive zero mile and miles during the race weekend. I'm going to go for that and assume that as soon as we drive more than one, that'll be fine. Uh, material fabrication planner. Your material fabrication planner will ensure only the best quality materials are used for all components. Okay. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, perform 250 gear shifts during a single session. I've no idea whether that is um, doable during the race. I mean, this, what are we looking at? There's probably going to be about 16, 17 laps around Jeddah. I think that's pretty likely. But five laps in practice sessions is going to be a hell of a lot easier. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, complete any session without using a flashback. Well, that's easy because we don't have flashbacks turned on. Uh, that's for the quality assurance tester. And then we've got the strategy analyst. Perfect the race strategy practice program. Complete one practice. Well, let's go for that. Let's try and keep it nice and easy if we if we can, please. Right, um, advance on. We've had some weekly resources. And there's the beam wing on the car. Okay, Good. all the new parts have been fabricated and we're going to have them with us for the next Grand Prix. So we should be a little bit ahead of Ferrari this weekend. That's all looking good. Yeah, happy. Right, okay, let's head into the race weekend then. And see how we get on around Saudi Arabia. Okay, anything in messages? Developments completed. Weekend preview, all looking good. Yeah. And we are making our way towards the target, which is good. Okay, all happy with that. We are going to up the difficulty uh, by a couple this weekend. Uh, that's not the right place to go. How do we... That's ah, in the workstation, I think. And then we... Yep, settings, uh, difficulty. We are going to move that up to 92. And we'll keep edging it up a little bit as uh, we progress on. But I'll see you guys for qualifying and... We'll see how things go this weekend. 
Welcome to the Jeddah Corniche, one of the fastest circuits on the calendar. But let's see who will be fastest of them all. We're about to set the grid for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Yes, it's qualifying. Okay, here we go then. We're ready and raring to go. Now, struggled a little bit in practice. It's kind of what I expected to happen. We are going to add a little bit to our uh, front wing. We're also going to add a little bit to the brake pressure. Um, just to try and... I don't know, give it a little bit more... Give it a little bit more bite into the corners. It is a little bit risky, obviously, an untested setup. But we are going to head out there. I'll take you on a lap of this Jetta circuit. It is, uh, it is a, a brilliant circuit to drive when you're in a good rhythm. You know, and we certainly were early on in practice. So I'm hoping now with more grip soft tyres instead of the mediums I feel like this could be a really special qualifying session but we've got to be on it we've got to absolutely be on it from the first corner already you can feel a couple of tenths gone there just didn't have enough turn in and then it's about making sure that you're on it a little bit of understeer there ah, no too much understeer actually that's uh, way too much and uh, looking at the, the fuel we are well over anyway so we'll give it uh, a cool down and then we'll go again okay take two let's see what we can do this time cool down the car sufficiently there let's see if we can give it a little bit better this time a little bit better through those first couple of corners couple of tenths gained and need to be a little bit more committed through these corners and you can see the time shaving off our delta there there we go throwing it around that's beautiful almost a second improvement and purple in that first sector that is the difference between commitment and a little bit tentative with our first lap through there the delta becomes irrelevant now because of course we were cooling off the car at this stage and this is where i've been struggling to remember to put on our drs this time though managed it perfectly and it's a purple middle sector this is good i think that's going to be the extreme this weekend when we hook it up it could well be in contention for pole position but when we don't we could be fighting for top 10 survival but here we come up to the line hopefully not peak too soon up to the line we go to 31-1 which is the fastest lap so far quicker than our teammate George Russell but it should be you would think enough to get through into Q2 but we'll have a little look straight away down to fifth actually about a second off Max Verstappen but uh, pretty much in line with Sainz and the two McLarens which have been the cars to to beat this weekend in and around us we are a tenth quicker than George Russell, Russell I think I think as I say we've done enough to get through to Q2 so let's uh, let's just see this session run its course and uh, well yeah there you go Sergio Perez pops it ooh are we through or has the track evolved we are just about through um, but as you can see the track definitely evolved there wow that was close going out in Q1 then Ocon, Ricardo, Sargent, Magnussen and Nico Hulkenberg 
Well, here we come then in Q2, round the final corner. This is looking pretty good. I think we're on course for about a 30.5, which will put us into the top 10, that's for sure. Up to the line we go. Oh, it's a 30.9, so just missed out a little bit towards the end of that lap. And yeah, we certainly don't have um, enough fuel to get round and do another lap so that might be your lot i think we might have timed this poorly and now we're just uh basically hoping that the likes of bodas or gasly oh no we are out we are out of qualifying to that well that that just sort of happened there at the end and it was uh well, Alex Albon, that puts us out in the end, and that's very disappointing. We just lost some time in that final sector. It wasn't wasn't really good enough. We were were certainly on for you know a very decent time, but a little mistake can be very very costly. And we will be starting P11 in the race tomorrow. That is hugely disappointing. And now qualified by George for the first time this season. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Not what we wanted there. But we can turn it all around in the race, and that's what we will be trying to do in the race tomorrow. We've got to think of a good strategy to get us to the front again. I think it's going to be very, very important that we um, have the undercuts and, and are able to push early on. We've certainly got some uh, soft tyres that we can use up, but it's going to be tricky. But we'll see how we get on in the race. We've got fast sweeping corners under the lights and 20 racers all ready to write their name into the quickly growing history of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Sainz, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Russell, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Albon, Hamilton, Joe, Gasly, Sonoda, Ocon, Ricardo, Sargent, Bottas, Magnussen, and Nico Hülkenberg rounds off the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And alongside me, a man, well, what more can I say? But he's a legend, Anthony Davidson. Plenty to talk about when it comes to Max Verstappen at the moment. He's on our screen, so let's talk Max. Now, we had great fun watching them win last time out. What a great victory it was. But can they carry that into today's race? It's the important one, isn't it, Crofty? You've done it once. Can you do it again? But, you know, if you start believing in yourself and the confidence starts to build, that inner confidence is what you need. And you can carry that through to future races, including this one. And you set that ball rolling. That's the critical thing that they're looking for here. And I believe if you've got that first race win or, or a win at any stage, it can start to roll with you in a good way. OK, here we are down on the track then. Obviously, I think we need to be thinking of a, an alternate strategy. Um, let's have a little look at editing this one. If we were to start on the mediums and switch to hards, you know, halfway through, 
would that be something we're, we're able to, to pull off? You know, maybe a shortest time on those hard tyres. But uh, I think realistically we do want a bit of an undercut. So I think this alternate strategy is the, the one to go for. Um, maybe even, you know, come in a little bit earlier than that and push the tyres a little bit more early on i think that's that's what i'm gonna go for the the six lap strategy um on the softs uh, put an extra lap of fuel in there as well just to help us out a little bit although we can take that down to maybe a bit mm, it, it is a, a, a circuit where you do need a lot of power so we are gonna go for a full lap of fuel over um, and something a little bit different today. We'll try the broadcast experience for the formation lap and uh, pit stops, but uh, we will keep it immersive for the safety car. Let me know what you guys prefer down in the comment section. But I wanted to give it a go and see what it looks like in this year's game. The formation lap gets underway here in Saudi Arabia, and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure their car's ready for the battle as the lights go out. Obviously, we get a little look and a little preview at all of the different tyre choices. So most people have gone for As mediums. As come back towards the grid to line up for the start of the race, each driver will be wanting to get the best start they possibly can. And they'll be hoping to finish today's race on the podium, and failing that within the points. And I think the hard tyres, again, they're going to be a good tyre to be on. I'm going to try and get that undercut early on obviously we've got to try and be aggressive got to try and get past Albon early on maybe even a Fernando Alonso but uh, we are ready and raring to go here this is going to be a cracking Saudi Arabian Grand Prix lights out and away we go here in Saudi Arabia it's a decent start off the grid and we managed to get past Albon, we've just got to be a little bit careful around the outside here. Turns into the inside line, we've got a bit more grip. But Albon manages to slot back in front. Well, he stopped a hell of a lot sooner than I expected him to there. That very nearly ended up in an accident. Bit of a lock-up. Oh, come on, that was not too wide. And we need to be careful, obviously, we had a three-second penalty. It cost us a podium in Bahrain. We've only got one more warning before we will get penalties on track limits. And it's not really a place, other than that corner in question. It's not really a place where you, you get too much aggro with uh, track limits. But this is a chance. Oh, my goodness me. That was risky. But we are through. That was a very, very tidy move. Down the inside. It was risky going that close to the wall. We could have made a little bit of contact, but we trusted Albon. And he left us the space. And I think an important move early on in this race. And now we got to try and get back within a second of... Land stroll so that we get that DRS okay, DRS entitlement. Will be of this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Yeah, that's pretty good. We shaved off a couple of tenths of a second in that first corner there. Gonna push it too much here. That was about as much as we can push that corner in turbulent air. Well, I like going in deep into that corner, letting it ride out wide. You can see already we're out of the one second window of Alex Albon. We've certainly got more pace than what we showed in qualifying. And now we've got a chance with DRS on Lance Stroll, DRS wide open. He's obviously about six tenths behind his teammate. We get a good exit here. We've got a chance. 
DRS open again. Bit of ERS deployment to try and help out with that, but he is just just about. about holding us off for now well, P10 and a good way ahead of Alex Albon which is the main guy we wanted to pass at the start of this race we're going to be fighting with these Aston Martin cars and more than likely we're going to be fighting with George Russell and the McLarens you know, we're not really in the, the same battle as the, the Ferraris. We know that. Oh dear, that's wide. And we had to drop off just a little bit there. Just sort of caught a bit of turbulent air and gave us a little bit of understeer. But starting to fly into our rhythm a little bit, which is good. Okay, coming into the pits this lap, you can see we've not really made too many inroads on uh, Lance Stroll. We did uh, drop out of the one-second window, and I think that had a, a big effect, actually. Oh. Sort of stopped us there on the way in. I'm hoping that that means... Well, that, that doesn't mean that we've speeded or sped. Yeah, pretty slow pit stop and though. Go. No problems, very three point three. Mercedes will no doubt be very happy with that stop. Um, we're gonna come come back out in twentieth place. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres okay, through to the yeah. end now. No, no penalty, which is good. That's what you want. And now we've got a couple of laps to get these tyres up to speed. Yeah, we were starting to close in on, on Stroll, but we have had that second warning for track limits, so we are taking it a little bit easier. Certainly don't want to end up outside of the points. I think we're okay, probably... Lewis, we've got some clear track in front of us, and let's make the best of it. So please make this next one a very fast lap. We're probably not quite in the... the realms of fighting for podiums today but uh, we'll give it a go I mean we seem to have made quite a bit of time on the guys in front here I think them on the the old tyres new tyres is gonna have quite a bit of an impact at this race but you can overtake around here so you know, we need to be a little bit wary of that and if we do get any sort of undercut we don't want to just give it back so, yeah, Logan Sargent in the pits, as is Valtteri Bottas. A touch of overtake as we head on to the next lap. And Sargent's in the pits. Well ahead of Sargent, which is what we expected. Clean. Okay, so there is Fernando Alonso. Now he was around about three and a half seconds ahead of us before, so we should, in theory, have undercut Lance Stroll with this strategy, but as I suspected, it's not going to have an impact on guys ahead quite as much but we are closing in on Fernando and we did have this in the last race you know if we're able to stay within DRS of Fernando then we've got a much better chance but once you lose DRS around here it is a bit of a slog down the straight so DRS open might even be able to make a move on him here. We've got purple middle sector there. This could be in line for fastest lap at this point. DRS open again. Closing right in on Fernando.
DRS open. So lots of other people in the pits here. And who's that? That can't be Stroll. It is Stroll. How's he managed to overcut his teammate? That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I can only assume that Al Alonso must have had a slow stop, so maybe we were nowhere near undercutting. Maybe Alonso has an, an issue because we are really closing in on him now. Bit of a, a press there. DRS open. And now, right behind Fernando Alonso. Again, a purple middle sector. This has got to be the chance. We fly down the inside of Fernando Alonso and we are through the car ahead of you has just fitted the hard tyres car ahead now on the hard compound using a little bit of ERS to pull away from Fernando and he tries it round the outside couldn't get there and now then And Stroll is next. We need to get within a second of him as we've seen with Fernando. And if we can't, then we're on for a good one. That was an excellent first sector from us. A purple first sector, in fact. Our pace is very, very good at this stage of the Grand Prix. We got one of the Aston Martins last lap. Can we get the other one this lap? I think George Russell is fighting for the win, genuinely. DRS open. George is having a, a fabulous Grand Prix now. He came in a bit earlier. Came in the lap after Russ, so I think he's had a, a successful undercut. DRS now wide open, and we might want to just stay behind here. If we can, get a good exit. And use DRS into turn one. Here Make we go. Top ten now. Keep it up. Stroll goes defensive. Yeah, and we can't risk that. Yeah, that, was, that would have been way too risky. We had a bit too much of a look there, didn't we? It's just sort of throwing us off a little Managing bit. Your tires. Manage your tires. Well, another good sector one there. And we are actually closing up to the pack ahead. The Street 2.8 seconds ahead at the moment. We'll keep an eye on that time. Here we go, using our overtake button. And we've got the inside line on Lance Stroll here. Going to leave him the room. Good job. But nice we are overtake. through. And now up into eighth position. And in theory, a little bit of clear air should do us no harm at all here. I'm trying to reach Oscar Piastri. Okay, Lewis. To save up some ERS, so let's focus on charging it. Okay, folks, we are heading on to the final lap of this Grand Prix. As you can see, two purple sectors on this penultimate lap of the Grand Prix. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near 
enough to take faster slap. Oh, it is a 132.4. Well, that gets us an extra point as it stands. So, I mean, this is a, a real opportunity. We're on hot lap mode. We've been so good through this first sector compared to these other guys, but we haven't been running in turbulent air for a little while. You can see that understeer definitely coming back now. But we might have an opportunity maybe into the final corner to dive bomb Piastri. If we're lucky, we are going to get within DRS range. going to have two DRS zones to do it. He is harvesting energy. That's got to be something we look to take advantage of, but I just don't think we've got quite enough to get there. We're using the overtake. We're using our DRS. It's going to be a drag race up to the line, but I don't think it's going to be quite enough we're going to come over the line in 8th place. We're going to have faster slap to go along with it. And that's a decent result yeah, a from tough, 11th place. Race, guys. Guys, great job today. Great job this weekend. Let's keep this consistency up. It's awesome. Thank you. And George Russell gets driver of the day. And in the end, there was but that no was tough. Stopping. That was a real tough race. He takes victory. Max Verstappen wins once again, this time not as comfortable. And it's always good, Crofty, to get that momentum on your side, and it's really good for your confidence as well. The more it looks like George. Are, did George finish second? And yeah, there was a big gaggle of cars ahead of us. No idea where Perez come finished. Today's winners, the team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently, and it's clear to see that they've put in the work, and they should be so proud of the victory. Yeah, George is on the podium. Here. I think George finished third. I mean, that's pretty good, and he gets the first, the first podium of the season for the team. I think he'll be happy with that. There's Adrian Newey. He's happy with things. He's happy. Two out of two so far for Red Bull and Max Verstappen. But let's have a After little look. An event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One. So Carlos Sainz finished it second in the end, ahead of George Russell in third. Then Perez fourth, Lando fifth, uh, ahead of Leclerc in sixth place, followed by Piastri, and then we finish in eighth place. But, I mean, we had pace this weekend. Had we qualified a bit better, then maybe we could have been stood on the podium instead of George. It's a, a bit of a, a sickener, really. Um, I'll just get that on there, just so that we've seen it. Um, little look at the standings. George does go above us, two points ahead in the championship. I think it's going to be a very close battle with George Russell this season. I don't really think we've got much a chance of uh, catching Max Verstappen for championship number eight this year. But it's about maybe trying to finish top three. I think we can beat signs. You know, once we have found our piece with the car and upgraded it a little bit, I really do think that we can be up there. Fourth at the minute in the constructors ahead of Oscar Piastri I think we're we're doing a good job so far so I'm happy with that obviously George Russell finishing third brilliant result for him um what's extracurricular there hey there you go nice and uh George is very very happy this weekend we're not so happy um so yeah four out of six um, and we do lose a little bit of experience there. Good race craft, good awareness, good pace. Lack of focus. Down to 79 now on focus, which is a shame. Anything to do there? No, it doesn't look like it. A little bit of manufacturing expert increase. 
all of that increases. That's what we like to see. So I think it's it's gone okay so far. Um, heading back to the driver headquarter now, and why is it not number forty-four? <laughs> it's a nice house, definitely a nice house. Well done, Lewis. You've done well for yourself, mate. Um, yeah, Russell has some upgrades coming through. We've got 404. Let's have a little look at the R&D in progress. Yeah, I mean, we've got, you know, loads of parts of the car upgrading, um, and they should be ready. Probably just after uh, the Australian Grand Prix, we'll be in a, a really, really top-quality position uh, heading forward and, and trying to take this, this team... Um, take this team forward i don't know whether we're going to get any secret meetings or anything with ferrari we'd love that um obviously fastest laps were now on 66 so that's nice to see and there is our rivalry with george russell each rivalry will use different metrics to determine who will win the teammate rivalry uses various metrics displayed here and whoever leads most of these will be classed as leading the rivalry the bottom of the screen will show you what rewards are available and when you'll get them. This is really good. Uh, good screen there. You know, he's winning in podium finishes at the moment, but we can see the qualifying and race results. It's basically the old teammate challenge from F1 2010, uh, just with a little bit more added into it. But uh, yeah, really excited to see how we get on going into the next weekend then. Uh, which, of course, will be the Australian Grand Prix. Always a, a circuit I enjoy. Feel like we get good results in, in Australia. So let's get back into Q3 next time out. Let's make sure that we're, we're qualifying well so that we're in a, a great position uh, for the race tomorrow. But uh, if you have enjoyed it, then give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.